Well, now I want to take a look at the last example in this section, which is example number four. Let's see what this one says. Find the probability that a shopper will be in the store for exactly 60 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shape up my picture here. I know I'm still talking about the variable x, how long a shopper spends in the store. I know the average was 45 and the standard deviation was 12. None of that stuff has really changed. I could, if I wanted to, convert to a z-score to compute this, but like we said in the last video, that's really just an option, and so unless I know why I need to do that, it doesn't really seem necessary. So I'll just go ahead and put exactly 60 minutes in the picture. Let's say 60 is right here, and I want exactly 60. Okay, so do I want to shade above 60 or below 60? Well, wait a minute, if I want exactly 60, then technically I don't want to shade in either direction. Like, my picture's done right now as it is. Okay, so let's figure out the total area of the shaded space that we have. So this would be probability that x is exactly 60. All right, now remember, if I go to my calculator, what calculator commands am I going to be interested in using here? How would I calculate the probability of being at exactly 60? Well, again, remember, I am never going to use normal PDF, so I'll use normal CDF. It's kind of strange, but I can imagine, where does my blue, blue space start? Well, I guess it starts at 60. Where does it stop? Well, I guess it also stops at 60. And then I have a mean of 45 and a standard deviation of 12. So this is what I would need to go ahead and write down, but I am using normal CDF. I'm going to go ahead and jot that down here first before I see what the calculator tells me. So I'm going to get normal CDF, start at 60, stop at 60, 45, and 12. And then I'll see exactly what the calculator gives me. This value here is exactly zero. Notice I don't really have any area shaded here because there's no kind of uh, horizontal dimension that we're working with here. I have a vertical portion, but I'm not covering any sort of a width. What that means is that the chances that a person is in the store for exactly 60 minutes is zero. It's not roughly zero. It's not close to zero. It is zero. This has to do with one of my favorite topics in mathematics, uh, which is way beyond the scope of this course, but I'd be very interested to talk with any of you about it if you happen to have questions. But this comes back to the really cool idea of the fact that there are different sizes of infinity. Really, that's what's in play here. It essentially means that there are so many possible times that a shopper could spend in the store that the chances that they get exactly 60 minutes, exactly, it, it's zero. It's just not going to happen. So this is kind of a, a strange or interesting result. Um, we'll see that again, any time I come up with the probability in a continuous distribution where x is going to equal just a single value, that probability will always actually just be zero.